Hi. <laughs> I'm Dan Gardner and I blew it. <laughs> I want to do my presentation. So hold on. Well, awesome. JaneGardner.com, implement.club. That's who I am. But at Jane.com, Solopreneur Success Strategies. That's what we need. At jane-gardner.com you can subscribe at jane-gardner.com backslash sss so awesome <laughs> welcome today is freebie fridays and today i have a new studio because <laughs> i forgot to turn it off uh, <laughs> welcome <laughs> today we're talking about uh, free stuff because as a so solopreneur <laughs> we always have to have free stuff because we need to be able to save time save money and be more productive in our business otherwise <laughs> we'll start losing money and spending too much time on stuff that we don't need to do so today I wanted to talk about um, bootstrapping if you don't know what bootstrapping is because you're younger than I am this is um, starting a business without external help or capital according to Wikipedia but to me it's about life really and I guess I should tell you who I am since I forgot to do that last time I'm Jane Gardner and I work in my um, home business uh, engineering uh, firm with my husband who's over there in the um, rickshaw uh, when we travel to Vietnam I uh, we live in Maple Ridge over in the west coast of Canada and we have um, been in home business uh, doing engineering for about 19 years we have some dogs and cats and I'm an artist and some people call me the mem queen because I love doing mems they're very uh, positive things and inexpensive well that one actually costs a little bit of money <laughs> and uh, and we live in the West Coast forest so I came out onto the internet because I wanted to help other people uh, start their own business on the internet or not on the internet I'm also very in, much an advocate for um, home business and in your offline world and, and having a service or product that you sell uh, locally and there are some of my websites that you'll certainly learn about in while we're here so today I wanted just to talk a little bit about bootstrapping as a um, way for you to save money in your business when we started out in uh, 1997 yeah I think the internet web browsers came in about 1992 uh, so I learned um, on the internet how to use the web browsers I took a course in bookkeeping when bookkeeping was using books in the 80s and then I had to learn uh, bookkeeping on the internet of course as well um, I've been using a variety of software and tools in our business to help us save money and and be more productive and today I wanted to talk about one of them that I really like and in fact I was using this morning because I couldn't find my show <laughs> not this show but another show which didn't broadcast on Wednesday so <laughs> because as you know uh, anyone who has a computer has a very large hard drive with gigabytes of files you better have a system in order to find things because whoa I don't know what I have on these computers but boy uh, I'm sure glad I have this uh, freebie so I wanted to call this this is freebie Fridays and I hope you'll come back next week we have plenty of free software and tools that you can use especially on the internet these days to uh, help you in your business and it's just a matter of deciding oh which one should I do this week? But considering this one saved my, well, it didn't save my bacon because I couldn't find my video today with uh, even using everything. It's called everything. 
The freebie for today is called everything.exe. It is an executive executable file, which means that it is a file, it is a software. And I wanted to show you a little bit about it. So I'm going to um, go over to where the website is. It's um, uh, basically a, a free web uh, software um, by voidtools.com, V-O-I-D-T-O-O-L-S dot C-O-M. And it's um, one of these ones that are uh, public uh, accessible. And it's a search engine. And you think, well, who needs another search engine? But I mean, at, you've all tried Windows search engine. It is absolutely useless to find anything. I have never found anything on there, even when I had the file name. Plus, uh, but this one can find it uh, anything for you. <laughs> Sorry, just thinking of the time. So it's a free uh, download, and it, it does it quickly. It uses very little of your resources, and of course it. It's always updating um, and indexing your files on your computer as you create new ones. Um, and I'll just uh, show you how you um, basically you download it um, depending on which um, computer and which software you have on your computer. And so you make the choice. Um, there's even a multilingual one. And there's even one for portable. Wow. Installer. I wonder if I should put that on my phone. My phone doesn't have that much on it. But uh, there's also one that's an upgrade. Um, it's in beta. And, of course, they probably also have one for Mac, knowing them. So let's have a look. Uh, let's see. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> but they do have a frequently asked questions. Uh, section at uh, voidtools.com and what it is you know and how long and and it tells you also how you can use um, the language so you can find uh, files and uh, quite a bit of information actually so I won't go over uh, like boolean operators etc I could do a whole course on this because you could you could find a file that has been hidden <laughs> every you know it's just amazing really so unlike Windows search everything initially displays every file and folder on your computer and then you type in a search filter so let's go have a look I'm gonna just uh, drag this out of the way there we go and as you can see it opened up and it has every single file I have on my computer Woo. and that's a lot of pages to download and no we don't want to open that right now so what you do with it is you use um, a search but this is a cool one over here I'll just show you this because I just I mean, you can find new things with these. So you can view a filter. You can put on filters. And of course, status bar, that's down here, of course. And you can make it a certain window size. And you can zoom it in and out. And, and you can sort by, oh, you can sort by name, path, size, extension type, date modified, date created, accessed. Oh, I just love this thing. But <laughs> what I just found out today is I, I have been, um, I know the, you know, obviously, I, for uh, audios, I, I do a, a search for MP3. Well, I don't even have to do that. It has this thing over here, <laughs> which is the folders. And, and basically, this is the folder for everything. And then if I want to search everything in audio, it goes like this and boom, everything, every audio that's on my computer, a wave, any cut, any cut, in fact, it's not just MP3s. I'm not even sure what an MOD is. I'll have to look that up. It's listed instantly, as well as um, zip files. Now, you know how many zip files you forget to remember where you put them. And those are all sort of computer ones. So ignore those. They're not terribly interesting. A documents. Oh, my God. What the heck is that? I don't even know what that document is. But <laughs> hopefully it's, it's something good. Let's let's go to um, 
uh, well, there's an uh, Excel spreadsheets, et cetera, et cetera. And then, um, of course, all the software, the EXE files, um, the folders, awesome. But I don't usually remember the folders. <laughs> Pictures, now I love this one because, of course, you can put in a picture. Well, actually, this one doesn't work too well because most of my pictures are enabled with numbers. But um, if you knew the name of it, <laughs> like you could do a search. And then video. Well, of course, <laughs> I couldn't find my video this morning at all because I didn't remember what I named it. So you have to remember what you named it. But it's all showing up all the types of uh, videos, MP4s, WMVs, um, SWFs, uh, which I use for, I think it's for video scribe. Anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, so let's say I wanted to look for something interesting. So a mindset, let's do mindset. All I have to do is put in the word mindset. And that's all I've got. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh no, it's, oh my God, I've chosen my, um, sorry, excuse me. Excuse the language. <laughs> just so excited I, because I picked the folder video it's it's showing me all the um, mp4s that have mindset in it so let's just go back to everything and, and I'll show you that it does show everything so there's a, a PowerPoint with with mine that with that title an mp4 and mp3 and that's even the, the Mac version of it the key and then of course the zip files and then what you do is um, here, I'll just show you, scroll this over a bit so you can see it. it. So it shows you the path to where you're going. I have one in, I have, actually on this computer, I just have one hard drive inside the computer and then one hard drive outside the computer. And so it shows you which hard drive it's on. So E is my one outside and what, what folder it's in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera all the way down. Oh, it keeps going all the way down, all the whole list of everything, and it's PowerPoint. And what's happened with that one? See, it's just in one of the folder subjects. It's just the folder mindset, and it's looked that up. Oh, just so good. Or did it? Oh, it looked up the mindset in there actually in the PowerPoint, the word uh, mindset. So all you have to do then is once you find what you're looking for. Or remember what you're finding or find one you didn't remember you had <laughs> you just double click on it and I guess it won't show up for you because it's going to open up the whole thing so let's make this smaller and see if I can move it over there oh what the heck stop we don't need to update on anything no nope, we're not updating go away excuse me while I resize it But what's that? Two seconds, and I and I found it right here. Look, understanding and adopting a success, successful mind, business mindset, and I didn't even know I had that because well, I'm 58 years old and I don't remember everything. So I love everything .exe. <laughs> and uh, anyway, <laughs> but you can uh, obviously use um, things like. Uh, asterisk dot zip will show you all your you know all the files that have are zipped are all the PDFs Oops. for example or you can put in a word part part of it let's see what would it maybe let's try mindset again yeah and it still shows up because it's even though it's got the asterisk in it but it's you know everything that's got mindset in it so, I mean, I could use, I could do this as a, I mean, I could, you know, it's just amazing. And it's free. And I really should donate to it. So, and, and you should donate to it if you're using it. So maybe I'll do that uh, soon. There we go. So, so why am I doing this? Well, this is basically freebie Fridays and with using the everything.exe I've just quickly found something on my computer and saved me time and money 
because I don't know how I'd find it otherwise, really. I'd have to find, get somebody in to find all my mindset. You can print them all out, of course, the lists of all the uh, files that have been found with the word mindset in it. And uh, it just saves me time all the time. Uh, Today I looked it up for that video. Before that, I had to look for this logo that I created. Oh, it's it's just an amazing. Um, oh, here let, let's get the name up again for you. Everything.exe, and yes, it finds you everything on your computer, and it's awesome. So anyway. <laughs> Uh, I think that'll be it for today. I just wanted to give you an idea of what we're going to do on on the um, on this show on Fridays. I, I will have I think probably we'll see what the time goes, but I I'll either have like a full you know training on a sh on one piece of software, just not too long because you your time is precious too, or maybe just a list of um, free image videos um, software that you can use to manipulate your videos um, I didn't make a list today of the various subjects that I'd like to talk about so let's see if I can remember in my small brain here so I'd like to talk well it's actually all about uh, image uh, manipulation and creation and video Im creation and, and, and manipulation audio creation and manipulation as well as um, even business software you can get for free. Um, I use um, a lot of them for storage. I use some storage for free. And I use um, another one for organizing my time, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, I have a whole database of free stuff that I can uh, use in my um, business when it won't cost me money. And it uh, actually works and does what I want it to. So that's what's wonderful about the internet. Uh, there's a lot of people who are very much um, public-minded and um, give uh, uh, what they call GNU, I believe, software, that uh, everybody has the ability to uh, um, develop and create uh, different things from it. And um, it's just one of these things on the internet which is, is very useful. So today, let me see, I think I should have a list of 10 uh, free softwares that you will be able to use in your business uh, to be downloaded uh, here. As well, I'm thinking about offering a library of uh, free software trainings as well as free tool trainings uh, every that will be available for you to go and find one for that will help you in your business. I'm just working on that now. So next week I'll, I'll have an offer there for you uh, to do it. To uh, and have a few of the sample uh, software they can start with and uh, start uh, saving money and time and being more productive in your in your business. So I hope this has been useful and I'll see you next week. This is Jane Gardner of the Solopreneur Success Strategies TV.com and you can check me out and sign up and subscribe at jane-gardner.com backslash SSS. Let's have a look at that again. There we are. So thank you for being here and I hope you found that useful and just I have forgotten to um, put up a, you know, email me. But you can probably try info at jane-gardner.com and just tell me some of the subjects you'd like to learn about free software, uh, free, free images, all that kind of stuff. You know, these days everybody needs to save some money and time in their business. So until next week, this is Jane Gardner. We'll see you. Bye.